Hello my Disney fans, this is Mickey Fan 1909 and today I'm here with my friend Oliver Featherwing. Hello! Now I am super duper excited guys because today we are doing Let's Play Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventures Trilogy! Yay! <laughs> I'm not too excited because I've played all the games I have, but Mickey, he wanted to get this game so badly. I've been waiting so long for this moment, and now's the chance. Yeah. I'll give Mickey some helpful tips in the game, because I've played it hundreds of times. I know you have, and I've seen lots of people who play, play those games walk through on different like okay, then. computer or Xbox. Right. So, New game? Yes. Right then, do you want to do the tutorial or start game? Hmm. Uh, just Your choice. Alright then. I mean, how hard can it be? Don't say that! And... Tell Wait. Tell games. Wait, now, this game was also no, there we go. What's the grommet theme? Let's hey, get look, look. Hey, look, there's an Easter egg there. Oh, yeah, the from the from the curse of the rare rabbit. I, I get it now. <laughs> anyway, let's get cracking, shall we? Oh, yeah. What's it's this? Like a, a blueprint of the Sniffer 3000. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. God. <laughs> well, it's in jail, look. It's been for the How police wanting. How can you put a robot in jail? I don't know. Du, du, du. What's the grommet? In. Oh, here we go. Fight of the what? Bumblebees. No! Breakfast time, grommet. Let's get him up. Yeah, let's wake him up. Let's. Like in the original series. Yep. A pull of a switch. And there he goes. Another perfect landing. Your turn to make breakfast, Gromit. Eggs, I think. And toast with honey today. Step to it, lad. I'm famished. Right. What do you want to get first? Well, is it optional? Really? I'm gonna wait. Oh, posters arrived! Posters arrived! Oh, oh that postman Pat's been! That postman <laughs> Pat's been! Well, what did the postman bring us then? Yeah. Any orders? Hand it over, lad! Uh, alright, alright. Alright, right, let's give him the mail. Alright, let's give it. Did you bring the mail, Gromit? Now. Here we are. Yes, we have, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, come on. It looks interesting. Oh, no, no, no. Final demand. Oh, well, no. There's payment due now. And a disconnection. A what? Nothing but bills, Gromit. I can't oh. look at these before Stupid I have my bills. bills. If we I don't know. find some steady customers soon, I don't know how we'll make ends meet. Oh, all right then. I'll open one, but just the one. Hmm. Seems your subscription to Marrow Growers Monthly is up for renewal. Uh, don't suppose you'd consider cancelling? Thought not. Oh, better pay up then. Now, no. where did I put my pen? Ah, yes. Oh. oh! Push up a button. Oh, look at that! Oh! <laughs> That's, That's a fancy way of getting a pen! That's actually quite clever, actually. Very clever. Yeah. <laughs> He's an inventor! Good old yeah. Wallace, right. What are you doing? Like, I'll need it for something. Oh, yeah. Hey! That dog is getting a little too independent, if you ask me. Right. Because I've seen what do you want to get first? Oh, look, it's the porridge gun! 
Oh yeah, I found the close shave! Press it! Huh? I'm going oh. to have to put the safety <laughs> lock back on. There's a honey jar, well. Honey pipe directly from the source. Everyone in town will want their own honey tap when word gets out. Ooh! Yeah. Hm. Oh, we don't have mine, that in my... Yeah, it's all the yeah. Anyway, let's give the honey to him now. How do I... Uh... Yeah. Um, is it, is it control? No. Oh, it's shift. Oh. Uh, shift. It's shift. You should have done the, you should have done the tutorial, Mickey. Well, at least I, well, at least I'm learning a bit quicker. Yeah. At least I found Honey. out. Honey, how sweet of you, Gromit. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the eggs and toast? Oh, we'll get I to them. We'll get you them. We'll get you them as well. God. Uh. Now. Here we are, we're in the kitchen. Oh, we got messages. Alright. Yeah. Hi, old fellas. Are you here? Sorry to leave oh, this. This must be Mr. Benia. That licking mechanical mouse of yours has put me in a right pickle. Uh, uh, but it may be a sniffer 3000 with advanced cheese tracking capabilities, but it chewed through all me fancy tail and me red lister too. Oh. Now I know we've always been on good terms, but this morning I find myself not inconsiderably discombobulated. And I can't let it happen uh, again, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to say that with the deepest regret, and following police advice, you and your blinking contraptions are banned from my establishment until Oh, he's been banned! Banned? More like... Let's, let's see if there's any more. Yeah, let's. Let's have a listen. What is the Oh, it's Major Crumb! Major Crumb! Major Crumb! Hey. Major Crumb! Word in your shield light. Can't say where it came from. Crumb's the word. But I'm getting intelligence of unusual airborne activity in oh, your oh, he... Can't say <laughs> where it he thinks he's in the war still. Take my advice. You look to the heavens and take yeah. cover. Going to get pretty sticky, well, is my guess. Well, former majors and so former soldiers to you, yes. Oliver. And yeah. Raining down. That sort of thing. Just make sure you they may tell us more stories. Be interesting. But you don't want to put in your war skills into that in today's week. I think there's one more I think message. I think there is. Alright, if you say so. Uh, oh, it's PC Dibbins. That's Delta Indigo Bravo Bravo Indigo Nevada Sierra. Regarding the prototype sniffer 3000 patent pending that was taken into custody at 1530 hours yesterday afternoon following a disturbance at Mr. Paneer's general stores and Quickie Mart. The aforesaid invention will remain in my custody until such time as you, the registered keeper, are able to demonstrate that it no longer poses a threat to public order. In the meantime, I should warn you, it's already napped the cheese sandwiches what Mrs. Dibbins put in my lunchbox and have a mind to have the picking <laughs> things to scrap. Oh dear. <laughs> Poor to be honest, Mickey, PC. Yeah, anyway, anyway, McKee, PC Dib is one of my favourite characters in this game, he's always funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, right, let's go and make some toast. Sorry. Yeah. What? But hey! Cheeky squirrel! Cheeky little. Don't swear. Mucky thing. Leaving that behind. Yeah, let's see what's in the fridge. Oh. Uh -huh. You think of what I'm thinking, Oliver? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but never mind that. Just look at the fridge, it's just empty. Complete. But yeah. Why would it be this empty? Don't know. To keep. Yep. Yeah, let's try the butter now. We'll give, we'll give this. Give the grill a slip. Yeah, go on, let's make some toast again. <laughs> yeah. 
There we go. Oh. <laughs> Serves him right. Yep. Yeah, I'll teach him a thing or two. Enough for the egg. Yep. Now for the Ooh, egg. Insane. Right. Now to do that, we'll have to set the thing. Tap. Oh, yeah, um, you can't get it up there just yet. You have Not to yet. use the, um, you know, you have, to, you have to press the thing and... Oh, right. <clears throat> just push the chicken. Yeah, and the egg's broken. I see, that's what you have to do first. Yep. Uh, not to worry. And now oh, you, now you can thing. put it up. Now you can put it up. There we go. There we go. Now let's reset it. Yes, next. This is becoming quite easy now. <laughs> yeah. Now. There we go. Let's do it again. Don't. Oh, there we go. That's one way of getting eggs in the morning. Yeah. Let me no, let's go to Yeah, let's go to Wallace. Yeah. Yeah, let's give the let's give the breakfast to Wallace. Alrighty. Any news on the breakfast front, Gromit? We've got it right here. As a matter of fact. Here you are. Done to a turn. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> and now but I'm still one egg short of a breakfast. Stop well, moaning. We've fact. Stop moaning whilst we've got it right here. Cracking yeah. eggs, Chuck. Now that's what I call a breakfast feast. Wasn't so difficult, was it, lad? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> With a hearty well, plate of eggs green. and toast under me belt, mm. I'm ready to take on the world. Oh, oh. It, I've a strange oh it's Mr. Pinea. Day Mr. our fortunes are going to change. Um. Morning, Wallace. May I have a word? Um, <laughs> if it's about yesterday's uh, um, little mishap. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you see, I can assure you it, it was an accident, Mr. Pinnear, and I'll certainly pay for the damage to your grocery shop. I was just putting the Sniffer 3000 through its paces. It's still only a prototype, you a know. Prototype. Oh, I oh. realize that, Mr. Wallace. And what better place to test out a cheese detector than in a shop with such an excellent selection of cheeses? Happen. But you'll still have to pay for the damage, I'm afraid. Yes, mm. of course. Yeah. I'll put it all right. Though funds are, how can I put this, a little tight at the moment. Only until our new business is up and running. Aye, well, that's what I'm here to talk about. I understand right. you and Gromit are in the honey business now. Fresh oh, deliveries yeah. daily, from B to you. <laughs> Oh, good night. Well, perhaps I can help you get on your feet. I'm having the annual sounding of the Crumpets Festival. And I clean out the honey. Can you deliver 50 gallons? What? 50 gallons? By tonight? <laughs> tonight? It'll more than cancel your debt. I'm not I making any reactions. I've heard this hundreds of times. What do you say? I say... Well, I know I've seen people play the, those games before, but... I say yes! We're in business, Oh dear. Land. Where the heck is gonna get 50 gallons of honey? I don't know, really. Heads up, no time for slacking. From B to oh, you oh, before we, um, look at this, the basement. Order. 50 yeah. gallons of honey by tomorrow. Tonight, I want you this mean. place to be a hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. Oh, certainly buzzing with excitement. Yeah. 
Or maybe they're <laughs> the picture of Wallace. Do you remember to feed <laughs> yeah. them this morning, Bromit? <laughs> Never mind, lad. I'll do it. Let's have a look around, shall we, before we do anything? Yeah. Nothing like an inspirational poster to boost worker productivity. Uh. For some reason, my boys aren't terribly fond of this one. <laughs> Bees love my motivational posters. What's the point one thing out? Hey, there's a, there's a drawing board. Oh yeah, from the Grand Day Out film. Let's see what. Let's see what. What's on there? What's he doing? Um, what's he drawing now? No. Oh, dot to dot. Dot to dot! Shall we see we can complete it? Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, wait. Because uh, it, did, it did noughts and crosses <laughs> last time. What do you think? Yeah, come on, keep going. We apologize for all this, guys, but we just want to find out what happens after he draws the whole rabbit dot to dot. <laughs> oh! There's a bee. Uh. A rabbit bee. That's that remote con Let's get that remote control. Uh, uh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> a rabbit bee. Yeah, wasn't expecting Should we grab that, that remote up there? Oh, yeah. The remote control Not coming for my Sniffer 3000. Sure be. Too bad about the teasing problems. Still, this might come in handy. I just said that. <laughs> what about to the other now, side? The perfect meal for a hungry hive. Right. I don't recognise that control. Hang on, what's up behind there? Oh my goodness! Ah, there's the hatch from me rocket ship. Remember that? From the Grand Day Out! So that's where the hatch went. What happened to And look at the machine rocket. next to it. Look what it's next to. Look. You recognize this? What? It's the I... machine! From the close shaver! Oh yeah, that. Yeah, that. There's a record <laughs> player over there. Oh, uh, yes. Let's try that, shall we? My workers are very devoted to their queen. <laughs> queen. Uh, that hinge is awfully loose. I'll have to Just grab that, that in case, eh? Yeah. Hopefully. So we just gotta wait for the bees now. Yeah. It's not supposed to be Wall Britannia, but in like, I think so. B version. Yeah. Okay, now let's let's try now. Yeah. Uh bon appetit. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh. No. Just a, not exactly just a, a single plug, drop. Really? Hmm. Flowers, Gromit. That's the weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. Well, obviously we do. Hmm. Now Let's go upstairs. Now find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the same thing. Like the bin men must have... Bit, one of the bin men must have posted through when emptying the trash. What about the umbrella stand? Oh, he's gone to the dining room. 
Yeah, because. Why not just oh, use that? Why don't you just get the honey from there? Oh, I'll give that go? Yeah. That'll save. That'll save us a hustle. The well's oh. well dry. Oh. Well. What about these? What about? Why don't we get just just get these flowers? Shall we? Can flowers? Can't feed those to my bees. They demand the organic variety. Come oh. on! You can't be serious. Uh, should we nip upstairs? Have a look around in Walter's room. I suppose. I wonder what's in there. Oh, so that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them I am back. trying to get more of those one day. Hmm. <laughs> Let's have a look around first. Here we go. Oh, it's some cheese there. Mmm. Last night's bedtime snack. Last night. Gorgonzola uh. makes a nice change from Wensleydale. I've actually yeah, had Wensleydale but... before, Mickey. Yeah, but that's but last night. Ugh. No, Mickey, I had Wensleydale. I had Wensleydale before. And pretty strong. Yeah, I bet. But I <laughs> and I liked it. Well, yeah. When you put it in your mouth, you get the strong taste of it. But when you keep eating it, you'll get used to it. Yeah. I'm sure. And I, I, end, right. I end up pulling a face when I put it in my mouth. <laughs> oh dear. Not in disgust, but just in the strong taste. Uh, we've been recording for about like 22 minutes. Okay, let's go outside, let's just, shall we? Let's just continue, shall we? See if we can find some yeah, go. outside. Yeah. Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. Oh, that's Miss I'm pleased to see you emerge from your subterranean lair. Let's have a look at it. What's in that door thing there? Trousers. Those, those trousers. So that's where they went from the film. Yeah, I guess Wallace must have taken it, took it out of a, out of a. Guess well, they walked off during the film. The... Well, they walked off. Remember? Well, yeah. must have, Wallace must have found it. Yeah, and he thought he might have. He, he, he could use it again for like. The... Garden. Yeah. Should we go to Miss Flick? Yeah. Been doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flick? Working my green fingers to the bone, but the hard work appears Look to at be the garden. Enough. Indeed, yeah. it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It's so purple paradise. Delicious. Uh, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine it would look delicious uh, if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well, now you wow. mention it. You want mm. to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, you can have all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, much obliged, Miss Flit. Yeah. Oh, thank you. you can jolly well grow your own. Oh, uh, right ho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Daisies! Oh, yeah. Named after a certain Thomas character. And a Disney character as well. Oh yes, I've forgotten. Anyway, shall we plug them? Yeah, go on. There now, with hard work and a little luck, you should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I can't Whoa. wait two or three months. I've got a deadline. This evening. No, yeah. you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Mm. Rex what? Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. 
Watch them sprout oh. in seconds. Hmm. Oh! If it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Three miracle ingredients. Oh. Grow to if I had that, I can do that for a certain mare well, of mine. I need a miracle and fast. Shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Yeah, I won't. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in well, the world. Well, that was crumb. Make a crumb. The hive will be nice. humming in no time. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're going to make some sort of protein shake. For the yeah, let's go to town. Let's, let's see what Major Crumb wants. So we're with the bus. Caught you. Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Morning, Major Crum. It is, if you don't mind uh, NMA invasion. It's saying hello in the uh, Didn't you get my message? Received intelligence of a major air assault. Oh, Expect Major Crum. He's one of my other favorite uh, ones. He's funny as well. Shelter is. I do recall Typical something about that, but Major Crum, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know, I've made predictions before, but I'm not trying wolf. This time, I've got proof. Jar? A jar? Jar? It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Does it? I can only see a snail. Of course it's a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what is she trying to tell Major us? Major Crumb with his war partner, She's the snail. She's a shell in the middle of the day. And that means only one thing. It means she knows trouble is about to strike from the heavens. Law of nature, Actually, Wallace. Learned it in France during the war. Never wrong yet. I think he's thinking of the Second World War. Well, that's to recall former soldiers and sergeants for you, but... <laughs> just... If it was me, I'd totally forget about all that and go on with my daily life. But no. Well, let's just take it anyway. Good man, Wallace. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Now, spread the word. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to the snail. <laughs> yeah, I know there's been rumors about World War Three, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Yeah. Should we go into town? Because I think two world wars is enough. Yeah, should we go? Let's go into town. Yeah, 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 let's. Oh, here we are. That was quick. Yeah. Oh, there is a certain ah, thing when, when you go. Because Mr. Pig gives you something. Oh, yeah. Uh, not those, when you click on Mr. Pig. Like... Can it really be cheese? Indeed it is, Wallace. Eventually, Dale, oh. your favourite. And am I to take it that these are... Yes, free samples. Free? Go on, duck in. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. Eat the whole and stick. one for later. <laughs> That's... If we do eat a whole stick in real life, you're just gonna choke to death. Yeah, I, know. I think Mr. Yeah, click on Mr. Paneer, he gives you something. Mr. Wallace. I've got something for you. Much obliged. A map. A map. Easy way. Huh? Easy way to travel. Oh uh, yeah. Let's talk Are to Mr. Paneer. Deliver my order. Uh, it's not quite ready yet, I'm afraid. Yeah. You're not Still. going to disappoint me. Not after yesterday's little incident. Oh no. You can count on from B to you. Um, this... Anyway. Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's a bakery over there. Let's try go to this bakery. Oh, yeah. Since, since the one from Back to the Future was closed. Pity it's closed. Oh, oh for goodness sake. Or two. 
We're not having luck with bakeries in games, are we, Mickey? No, we're not. Because the Back to the Future one back in the 30s was closed, and now this one's closed. What about next in Telltales? Which other Telltales games is going to have closed bakeries? I don't know. There's because a shop over game, there. Because this game was made by Telltales games. I don't know. I don't know. There's a little shop over there. Should we go to the other look? What was possible for Back to the Future the game as we played? Oh, it's Miss Gabberly! Miss Gabberly, yeah. Wallace, look, how's business? So, Wallace, in the honey business now, I hear. Yes, oh, he is. You've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> oh, oh, indeed, I have. It's all over town. That'll never get on the <clears throat> ground. Stupid. Oh, that's idea, Mr. Gabbley. Yeah. Stubborn did. and lazy as a mule. Honey out of a honey jar, that yeah. one. Excuse my husband. He's a right misery gut sometimes. We can tell. Little button there. Hmm. Uh oh. Hey, it's not closing time yet. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> There's some flowers up there. I don't know why you told me to push the button. Ta-da! Bye then! Look, we're not going far. Could those be? Uh, I couldn't help but notice the those purple on pants. Your Let's see if we can try and get Gabbley. those down. Ah, lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially oh, yeah. the purple pansies. Always been partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. Ah, blinking weeds, if you ask me. Got to buy them. Oh, go and suck a lemon, you moaning ninny. Ah. Oh, oh, no, Ooh. look what you've done, you clumsy. Oh, <laughs> oh, look out that window when I'm yelling at you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but only to prove your insults don't get to me anymore. <laughs> I can deflect them all. Is that so? Right then, there's a word game coming on. Well, yeah, later on. Should we just grab that flower? I'd be anyway. happy to take these flowers let's off just, your hands, Mrs. Us. Gabbley. That is, if they make your husband unhappy. That's a good reason to keep them to my way of thinking. But go ahead if you want them. Much obliged. Okay, now let's go to Mrs. Gabbley to see if we can get those purple pansies down. Yeah. Mr. Gabbley! I suppose you've an insult for me and all! No, I've no insult for you. Let's try and go to Mrs. Gabbley again. Pardon me, Mrs. Gabberly. I wonder, uh, that is, could you spare a verb? Uh, oh, sorry. No. Give me a verb, Wallace. Ooh. An action word. Oh, I know what a verb playing is. Playing a word game, are we? In a, oh, it's a word speaking. game. Oh, well, yeah. let's see. Hmm. A verb. Hmm. Well, oh, I've got a good one. Pop! There's some more down there, look. Try pop. That's a good word. A nice action word. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Now I need a thing. A thing? Aye, you know, something physical you could touch. Something I can touch. I've got another, I've got an idea, no, another idea, Mickey. Yeah. Pop a turkey. Turkey? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Mm. Uh, a descriptive uh, word. Um, try mild. Uh, mild? Oh, oh, oh that's a corker, that okay. is. <laughs> Last one, nearly done. I need another thing. Or like a person or animal. Try gentle, then. Because I saw, com I saw a magazine oh, on there. Let me see now. I see 
gentleman? Yes, that's a thing. Nah, that's... That's an insult if you use it. Right, shall we have a look? Hey! What is it now? Okay. Oh, pulp! A turkey, you mild gentleman! Hey! Oh, there we go! Know how to wound a bloke, Winnie! <laughs> Oh, that's got them down. <laughs> yep. Should we grab them in case? Eee! Ha ha! Got him that time! Serves him right for being such a uh, grumpy old man. I remember granddad. a story with that. Well, that was, uh. interesting. Yeah, Ricky, I got a story to tell. When I was first playing this, I had a right struggle getting that down. But I managed. I mean, there's a few other options, like, from what I've seen. Yeah. Would you anyway. mind, uh, if I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit to lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly, uh, for business purposes? Business purposes? Well, be my guest. I've got bunches of them. Oh. Oh. There's a police station next to him, next to the shop. If it isn't Wallace, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, it's Constable Divins. This morning. Uh, mo morning, Constable Divins. You're off to an early start today. Not planning any more visits to the shops, are you? No, of oh, course not. No. Why? Yesterday was a one-off. I'm in town on business. Is that business. so? Yes, yes, it is. They're so. on oh, business, yeah. you say, Wallace. Yeah. What line are you in these days? Honey, Constable Dibbins, from B to you, piped fresh to your home yep. or workplace daily. Do you have a sweet tooth, Constable? Well, I have been known to dollop it on a crumpet now and again. Then perhaps you'd like to subscribe. I only yes, pick your subscribe to the channel from a reputable <laughs> sources. Yeah, just subscribe to the channel. And all of us as well. <laughs> if you want free samples. That's all Let's click him again. That's always to it, guys. Let's click him again. You can rely on from right. B to you for your honey needs, Constable. As our motto says, all the sweet and none of the sting. So long as it's nothing like your sniffer 3000 cheese detecting device. No, of course not. <laughs> One more. Put your mind at ease, Constable. All our bees are bonded and insured. Yes, they mm. are. Not killer bees from abroad, are they? Certainly not. No, They're not West Wallaby Street born and bred. That's so much, I suppose. Oh, if you keep clicking him, you, you, you might get a new client. You might have him as a new client. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You might. Right, keep clicking on him. Mr. Paneer will unveil my honey at tonight's festival of crumpets. Is that so? Well, if Mr. Paneer's prepared to take a chance on you, I suppose I can too. See, and one more, and I think it's So, can I that. sign you up for my honey service, Constable Dibbins? I'll pop over to Mr. Paneer's and have a taste, if I like it. And there's no undesirable side effects. We'll see. There we go. We got a new. We got a client coming soon. Yes, indeed, guys. So, what was a hot helmet? Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. Oh, oh trifle sweltering. Yes. Because, because... Danger and discomfort are all in are the line of duty thinking, for an officer of the I law. Though that. most folks Chuck don't appreciate it. Chuck a sweaty cheese in his hat. <laughs> yeah, yesterday's snack. Go on, throw it in. There we go. <laughs> He's putting back on. He doesn't notice now. <laughs> Let's go to the other side of the police station. Yeah. There's a jail cell there. Let's have a look inside, oh. isn't it? There's Miss oh. Sniffer 3000, banged up like a common criminal. Oh dear. Breaks my heart. That no. cheese detector's not a bad machine, just a bit over keen. It's all the energides in its system. Energides? Wait a minute. 
Energize. It seems to me, yes. Oh. Energize is one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's Quick Pro Muscle Formula. I used my last Energize battery to fuel the sniffer. I'll have to get it back if I want to finish the formula. Or just get just mix the battery fluid with the other ingredients. I'm pretty sure battery fluid is gonna gonna be poisonous, right? Hmm. I don't know. This is just like a cartoon game. Now, where's that other cheese? I've got an idea. Right here. Yep. Chuck it underneath the bed. Now let's try and get Constable Disney Dibbins to. Um... I'm gonna try out the control first. All right then. The All right. Just trying to get to the cheese, but the machine sounds like it's crying. Oh. Almost brings a tear to my eye just watching. Yeah. He can't because he's because you're putting his helmet and Constable Dibbins' helmet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go and try and free him. Yes, let's. Uh, there's a thing on the there's a thing on the other side, though. I, I I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. Yes, and I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only mm. appealing for natural yeah, justice. It. But your blinking cheese detector thing of what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, teething well, problem. Yes. It's yeah. still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical villain, device. Eh? Try the Cyberman. See that yeah. In its face. My machine isn't evil, Constable. The only machines are it's Daleks and Cybermen. And Try and arrest yeah. those, hmm. Dibbins. We'll see. Yeah. I'm going to formally interview this glorified tin can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. Right, to the jail cell. Yes. Oh, here we go. You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Oh, the cheese, the cheese in his hat. The cheese in his hat. That one. Here we go. That's more like it. Now, now for the bed. time to think. What can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? When's the day out? He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. <laughs> oh, of course it does. Uh, yeah. yeah. And now for the now, last one. I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? And for the last one. The bottom one. Well, I'll be done. The prisoner there we go. has been interviewed, yes, and having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release him into your protective custody, provided, Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him, or it, or whatever he answers to. Oh! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. There we go, we've got the battery! Oh, keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. Okay then, where to next? Oh, that's the down. Where to next? Back home? Oh, you can use the map. Try out the map. Alright, so... Oh! I told you back home. Let's try out... Let's go out, let's go out the door. What are you going in the kitchen for? Oh yes, um, there's something in that. Oh, that's cold toast down there. Nice Grab it. Strongium tea ought to spark up the old grey matter. That's the next one. Strongium, strongium. 
Cheeky oh. squirrel. Strongium. That's one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's Ooh. quick grow muscle formula. I what need that the... tea bag. There's a piece of toast down them. there. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's grab that. Cold toast. Shame Cold. to let it go to waste. Well, sure, pretty coming handy, no. Nevertheless, let's um, head out, shall we? Oh, you can go the back way. Ah, yes, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, you could just go the Excuse back way me. out. <laughs> Through the gate. Should we go to Miss Flick? What happened to his little cricket bat? Beats me. There Aha. he is. Oi, come back here, you thieving rascal. That's my tea bag. I won't have you threatening that dear little creature. Not while he's in my garden. You've come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace. What? As a bee to oh, a blossom, eh? The toast, the toast. Just go back. Just go back. Just go back. Walk backwards. There we go. Okay. Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. Yeah. Yeah. We don't swap ya. There we go. Grab the tea bag. Oh. What are you looking for exactly? Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Yes, oh, the pa pandies. We pop it in the thing. Morning, Mr. Now, how does she not notice? We don't know. Get the purple pandies in the inventory and put it in the flowers. Right. The sign. The sign says pandies. Here we go. Miss Flit, if you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I'm oh, show a show of that snail. All hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, Apple. You see? They're mending their wings. Mickey? They uh, yeah. just needed a firm talking to, that's just all. Need to... Just need the tea bag. Get... Mother yeah. forgives you, you naughty little pansies. Sweet <laughs> satisfaction. Action. There we go, we got it. Now, yes, the snail. Very sweet. Yeah. It's not going to end well. No. I can tell. I realise this may seem a trifle irregular, but Major Crom insisted I show you this. It's... So, uh, oh. oh. A snail? In my garden? Oh, the narrate siren. Have you lost your mind, Wallace? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> now let's go and find Major Crumb. He's just ready to the house. I wonder where Major Crumb disappeared to. I think it's the basement. Let's try the basement. Yeah, no doubt, because it is underground after all. Wallace! Thank heavens you made it to the... Oh, well, there he is. I'd given you up for lost. Caught in the crossfire, were you? <laughs> well, should we give him those things we found earlier? You've oh, got to get your mind off the carnage up there. Would you like uh, to hear one of my own war stories? Mm, I'd help pass the time. Well, I hate to... Uh... Oh, of course you would. <laughs> uh, I brought visual aids. Oh, those are really old. You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? 
Well, I suppose I was, Major. Bet you'd like to know what's inside. I am curious, yes. Yeah, this case is packed full of government issue groteen bars. Groteen? Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for... Emergencies, obviously. Beef stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed them. Oh, they must have gone off. For a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. By George, this is an emergency! Private Grubbit! <laughs> I hereby issue you one protein bar. Guard it well, and see that it lasts you all day. Wallace, here's one for you as well. Much obliged. Right. Now, let's have a look at the pictures. What a face! That's me yeah. kitted out for heavy combat. That helmet took many a dent before the war was through. Without it, I could have become seriously loopy. Take my advice, Wallace. Oh, Never I go killed. into battle without a regulation helmet mm. like the one in this picture. Three weeks later. That's one with a gun. <clears throat> Who's that fellow? That's me as a young recruit. Off to basic training. How I cried when they cut off my golden curls. But I cheered up as soon as they issued me with a beautiful set of dog tags. Dashed useful dog tags. If you happen to forget your rank or name, you've got it right there. Never go into battle without your dog tags, Wallace. Mm. Really? There's a gun there. Uh, uh, no, there's a sight. That's me posing with mother next to my 40 millimeter bofers. Look at the size of that monster. Big Betty, we called her. The gun, not my mother. <coughs> Sounds like you were quite a soldier, Major Crumb. Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh well, dear. You were Once really a soldier, the truth. always a soldier. Something you civilians will never grasp. And I'd be uh, happy to prove it by charging into the fray. That is, if I were recommissioned and had a proper helmet with a cute little brim, and if I could find someone to take charge of this shelter and distribute the protein bars. Oh, we got a helmet, right? We got a helmet, haven't we? Yeah. I thought you might find this useful, Major Crumb. A helmet? By George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles. Now for the dog tags. But I haven't been recommissioned. Of course, Oliver. I found these in the hall, Major Crumb. Dog tags? I've been recommissioned. Bound to happen, of course. Can't leave good military material sitting on the shelf. My place is in the treasures. By thunder, I'm a soldier again. Sir George is ready for his dragon. And yet, duty compels me to remain here. No one else to guard the protein bars. Ah, oh, let's should we assign Gromit? of duty. Yeah. Gromit could do the job. Private Grummet? Can I entrust my precious cache of protein bars to a Pongo? Perhaps. Oi, so. don't call him a He's proven himself a trusty uh. foot soldier. Yes. If I am called away to the front, I'd feel comfortable leaving Private Grommet in charge. Good heavens. I shouldn't be skulking around in a cellar like a frightened rat. I'm a soldier <laughs> by thunder. Private Gromit, I hereby appoint you officer commanding this air raid shelter. Here, you pass oh. out the rations. I've got a war to win. Charge! Oh, Major. Cuckoo. You're telling me. Right, now, shall we go, shall we go and start a mix-up potion? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got those flowers. Shall we, but before we go up there, we've got those flowers in our inventory. Shall we give them to the... Yeah. Uh, they might make more me. honey. We just need to hold the pot. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've got to damage the machine. Oh. Probably not luck. Hmm. Not exactly no. a flood, is it? Well, let's go mix our potion then. Let's see if that does it. Let's go... Alright, let's go make our protein shake. Yeah. Let's go make some protein shake. Okay. Let's go. Into the kitchen. Go make a protein shake. There we go. Oh, I recognise that head. Oh, yeah, the cracking contraption. One unit yeah, another Easter egg. For a creamy finish. Yeah. Yeah. One dose of strongium into the mix. <laughs> and finally, the protein bar. One generous chunk of protein to give it texture. That's all of now them. to mix up my very own quick grow muscle formula. That ought to do it. Oh dear. Yeah. Somatics all mixed up. Oh, so we have the oh, 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 Really? I don't see what you're hoping to... There we go! Oh! Yes! Oh. Yes! 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 I yes. Don't it. it works! It works! The homemade quick grow miracle muscle formula works! We're in business now! The miracle of the protein shake! No yeah! The of enterprise can get you! I hope there's left over before I can do it for a certain man. I'd never have been able to think uh, of a formula. Wallace. And then where would we be? You really must Wallace. be careful what you chuck out, you know? Uh, Lincoln, Nora! Oh, my word! I think I'm going to faint. Jeepers Jones. Yeah. Um, Let's pick do you think that would be possible? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go and grab them anyway. Anyway, we've been recording about nearly an hour. Well, let's just grab them and then we can do. We can end it here. Yeah. Timber. <laughs> well. Nothing. So. So I guess we're going to put these in the pollinator. But I'm afraid yeah, we'll have to wait for yeah. another... But I'm afraid we'll have to wait for another day. Oh, but the tan's lying there, you Nicky. Well, it didn't say the exact. I know, but I, I'm just having a little laugh. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, everyone. If you, if you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, Leave a comment, turn the notifications on, and go subscribe to my friend Oliver Weatherwing and check out his greatest content. Hi, everyone. So, until next time, guys, thanks for stopping by. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.